Backstage at Redden and Leeds 2018, and Kate Nash is here. Hi. Queen Kate. <laughs> Ready. Um, you all right? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, a bit chilly, but it's a UK festival, so. It is, isn't it? We would do, guy, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? I mean, it, it kind of wouldn't be the same, would it, really, if we weren't? Like, exactly. Got to have your wellies. Got them on? Yes. Ready? Yes. Nice. <laughs> Wee! To panic at the disco. <laughs> nice panic at the disco <laughs> with the background while he's on. Um, uh, you've been here like several times. I have. I was just saying, I've been driving around and it looks exactly the same. Like nothing's changed about the layout of the festival, which is so mad. Yeah. I'm, it looks exactly the same as when I first came here. And I was like, oh my God, there's where I had my first scolding like, re like shower. I remember yeah. when I played like, in 2007 or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's kind of what. What is it about Leeds and Reading that has such a special vibe about it? Do you think? Um, I think it's you know it's like a lot of teenagers like first experience with a live live music on a massive sort of scale. Yeah. Which um, I remember sneaking in to Reading like just the campsite even because loads of my mates were going. And Did like, you? Yeah. And Did a you lot, really? Yeah, I snuck into the campsite and like just <laughs> stayed in the campsite and like. You know, it was just really fun being on the campsite, to be honest. Really? Yeah, it was like really good fun. When, when you're kind of doing something like, um, sort of big Netflix drama, right? When you're doing something like that. Yeah, yeah. Is there the same kind of pressure attached to that being released to the world as there is you put an album out? It's completely different because I sort of, it's not my, I'm not like in charge of it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like it's somebody else's creation and also like Netflix are behind it. So it's like this massive sort of release on a global scale. Mm. And I feel like when I'm doing my album, I'm so involved in every, I mean, at the moment because of Kickstarter, it's like so literally in my living room, like yeah. like the CDs and albums and stuff and like in my, my manager's office and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's every single detail I'm like stressed about. Whereas like, on the show, we do it and we shoot and it's really intense and then you kind of go away from it and you're like, oh, I have no idea what the final product's going to be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's always really exciting. I mean, it's two seasons we've done. It's been so exciting each time to watch the series. Yeah. You know, it's like such a mad thing to look back on and be like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that and was yeah, part yeah. of it. Yeah. So the, al the album being Kickstarter funded. Yeah. Does that, I mean, that gives such an amazing ownership over that product for the fans in a way that yeah. perhaps, perhaps they, they, you don't get with every kind of album, do you, or right. every artist? Yeah. Is that, I mean, was that was that the kind of idea behind it? Was that the plan? Um, I think I just wasn't really feeling that inspired by record labels mm. that I was meeting with. I mean, I don't know, like, music industry is such a weird, it's a different experience for everyone, Yeah. obviously, but a lot of people I know have a lot of trouble with their labels. I've been independent for about five years, and it's not easy, but I think you compromise a lot creatively. Mm to like sign a record deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I haven't seen the music industry be particularly like innovative. Yeah. It's been more like, I don't know, it just doesn't, it hasn't seemed to, I'm never, I'm not saying never because if there was a, if, there, if a label came to me and was like really innovative and exciting, I would love that, but. Yeah. Cause it's easier for me. <laughs> It'd mm. be much easier if I could walk into a system that's already set up, but. Um, I think I feel like the offers that I've had have been really compromising mm. and I just haven't wanted to do that. So I wanted to go back to my fans and, you know, I, I originated from MySpace. So it just kind of made sense to go back to my fans online and like use the Internet, which is like the future of everything. Yeah.